Hey YouTubers, Grimmy here, and this is the video review for Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Bulkhead. And as you can see, Bulkhead's sporting a bit of a new look, a super armored up version of his regular truck mode. And his new Dragon Grinder weapon, which does spin a little bit. We'll just take that off real quick, if I can. Uh, it's on there super tight, but um, yeah. There's Bulkhead's uh, truck mode. Which is actually done pretty nicely. Um, has that uh, marbleized plastic effect to give it that scorched look. Got actually it on both the uh, green and the orange plastic. Which is pretty nice. Um... A lot of people say this guy has more of a like a roadbuster aesthetic. I can kind of see that on the vehicle mode, but um, really he just reminds me of Braun. And uh, I've heard Mr. TF Prime say the same thing, so I'm not the only one apparently. But in any case, it's a very nice vehicle mode, even with this armored up look. And it's actually pretty big too for a deluxe. Because uh, here we got the um, Beast Hunters, and here we got uh, Voyager class uh, Prime R.I.D. bulkhead. As you can see, they're actually pretty close together in size. Um, I mean, they actually have the same length to them. Uh, Yeah, they mean stand them on the wheels and or stand them on the top. You can actually see they're just as long as each other. And Beast Hunter's bulkhead actually has a wide longer length to it than the Voyager as far as how far the wheels are set apart. Yeah, but otherwise, same truck, a uh, few different uh, aesthetic changes, but um, yeah, still very nice. But anyway, I guess we should get this guy um, in his uh, robot mode and see how it looks there. Okay, now we got Bulkhead in robot mode and uh, yeah he's looking pretty good uh, definitely a big difference between him and uh, his standard uh, appearance um, they really went all out for him and yeah, this new look new head and the what looks like a smiley face is actually the visor um, and those blue bits are actually horns, not eyes. Yeah, a lot of people have been already saying he's uh, got a smiley face or rocketeer face or however you want to call it. But yeah. The big single blue thing at the bottom, like in the middle, is the actual visor for him. Which I guess, okay. Never... But yeah, he's got a real nice uh, sculpt to him. Looks like he got completely overhauled. Um, the chest bit is nice because it kind of uh, resembles animated um, bulkhead. Which I guess would work. But yeah. There's also a bit of a brawn vibe to him. Like if the uh, chest was all orange and the like the wrists were silver, this would be a classic brawn. <laughs> Easy, like it still could be. Um, but for uh, like uh, yeah, let's take a look. Got 
Ron here and bulkhead you can see that there's definitely some resemblance here is here especially with the uh, hood cover that goes well with the way the bronze uh, head bit is well yeah if you did the entire chest area is orange uh, yeah this would be a easy brawn <laughs> but anyway for another comparison we'll put him with R.I.D. Volkhead and here's where you actually notice the size difference in the robot mode R.I.D. Volkhead is a good bit taller than uh, Beast Hunter's bulkhead. That's just the differences between Voyager and Deluxe. Further input would be from First Edition bulkhead, who seems to tower over both the other guys. But yeah, and there's definitely a bit of a size difference here, which is unfortunate, but that's how it goes with. Uh, being a deluxe, we'll also put in for one more comparison Beast Hunter's Wheeljack. May as well have the two records together, right? If I can get Jackie to stand and in frame. But yeah, and yeah, there's no way bulkhead should be the same size as uh, wheel jack. So this isn't exactly a great bulkhead figure. I mean, it's a good figure, just not really good for bulkhead. But anyway, let's get to articulation. We got a ball jointed head, which will have up and down and left and right movement. Really stiff though. You got ball jointed shoulders, swivels at the bicep, bends at the elbow, little hinge action at the wrist, no wrist swivel unfortunately. So he's got those curling iron, iron uh, hands. Which is a shame. Nothing at the waist. Ball jointed hips, swivels at the thighs, and knee hinges, really tight knee hinges, and some ball jointed toesies. But yeah, that's all his articulation and his dragon grinder here. Doesn't really show well, but it does spin a little bit, but not just a whole not a whole lot. You can just put that on his arm, give him a saw blade shield. Pretty easy to do. Now I like him. Not really a bulkhead, but I still like him. So he's recommendable, especially if you want to like a stand in for a classics brawn. Maybe that uh, legend class isn't doing it. Uh, this is a good stand-in. Give him a little bit of a paint job on his arms and uh, chest, and maybe a little bit on the head. You got a pretty good brawn. But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed the review. Uh, feel free to comment, subscribe, the whole bit, and I'll see you next time. Bye.